Eddie picks up our team coverage from Lake Charles. Valerie. We've seen a little bit of everything today from flooded neighborhoods with people all evacuated those who are preparing to leave and head to higher ground as well as those who are now in a shelter but one thing that they all did have in common they're just hoping for the best around about 11 30 got a hard bang on the door it was the national guard there to rescue jerry nicholson and his pregnant fiance i know my son will really be happy to hear this story she's 32 weeks and uh, we would have really been in the bind if uh we hadn't had that rescue effort you get these alarms on your, uh, these alerts on your uh, cell phone, man. Follow those instructions, man. Stay, watch the news, and that's what I hadn't been doing. That's, I'm guilty. So, you just got to pay attention to everything that's going on. Listen to them. I mean, I mean, they give you the warnings. Take heed to the warnings. Right now, the water is about midway up my calves in one of the neighborhood where a bunch of those rescues happened last night. And they say just hours ago, the water was all the way up to the front door and even in some of those homes. If the rain continues overnight, it could be even worse. Our water was up to the blue. Akila Bell and her husband watched many of their neighbors get rescued Monday as their home started taking on water. Picking everything up we can that is left um, off of the floors, getting it to a high safe place, stacking it on the washers, dryers. And they don't plan to head to the shelter at the Civic Center either unless they absolutely have to. I don't want to be surprised. I see a lot of people coming back in the neighborhood now that the water has receded and they're just devastated when they open their doors. They're Oh my goodness, everything's gone. I was here to see what got damaged. I was here to help a little bit. I'm told that the shelter I mentioned earlier over at the Civic Center will be open until at least tomorrow, but at this point, they're kind of just taking it day by day as Harvey moves in closer. In Lake Charles, Valerie Ponsetti, KTC, TV3. Let's go live to Abbeville now. Justice Henderson joins